What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff Carpenter with Ready Light Media and Next Level Workshops. And today I wanna to show you how I got from this image to this image, uh, just by changing a couple things. So come check it out. What I wanna do is I wanna run through what my setup was for this shot and kind of the reasoning why I went from a more pulled back shot with a little bit of movement, which I absolutely loved, to a more traditional beauty shot. So my setup for this was a key light up here, which was a Profoto A2 with a 2.7 click octa that was just up top overhead. Uh, angled down, just creating some really beautiful butterfly light. My secondary light was a kicker down here, which was another A2 with a one by four strip. Uh, that one also had a J gel in there. And the reason I had that one was kind of to complement the color of this A10 I had down here that had a rose pink gel that was just angled up and creating a little bit of color in the background. Um, so let me go ahead and show you the first image we shot. And I love this image, but there's a couple things that were kind of bugging me a little bit because I only brought three lights to this, this shoe. This was actually a, a demo I was doing for a group of high school students. So I just brought a very minimal kit. I brought a three light kit. If I had four, I would have brought a, uh, a fill light up underneath. But what was happening was I was loving the movement, I was loving the pose that she was giving me, but down here, we were noticing a lot of basically that whole bottom half of the frame got really dark. If I, again, if I had brought a, a fourth light, I could have brought in a fill, I could have brought a fill card in, but in the moment, I was just kind of shooting, didn't want to bring a ton of extra stuff in. Um, but what we can see is the exposure on that, you know, the bottom half of the frame is really, really, you know, it's it's almost completely black there. So the top part's great, love that, but basically just the dress that she was wearing was blocking the light from that key light from hitting anything else. And it was making that bottom part of the frame really, really dark. So rather than just throwing it away or bringing another light in, I figured I would take this opportunity to, uh, to kind of uh, take advantage of the fact that she was wearing a really nice off the shoulder dress. And that gave me the opportunity to shoot a really, really cool, really traditional beauty shot. So that from here we went and all I did was just step a little closer, zoom in a little bit. And we got a really, really great looking beauty image rather than setting up a completely different setup. I just changed my position. I changed my focal length and we got a whole different image without having to strip the set and do something completely different. So that's how I got from this image to this image really, really quickly without having to change really anything at all other than where I was standing. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and follow Ready Light Media and go check out nextlevelworkshops.com and join our photography community that is completely free. Um, we'll be starting to do some giveaways on there. So go check that out, nextlevelworkshops.com. See you next time.